All right, hello. We're going to try a little uh, intro to sewing thing here. So I've got my brother sewing machine. Um, it's a pretty interesting model. It's uh, an XM3700. Uh, it's got a lot of different stitch selections, but um, I've mainly just been using uh, number two and number three. So your regular straight stitch and a zigzag stitch. So um, across the top, we've got several knobs here. First one is uh, the tension on your thread. This is the width of your stitch um, and the centering. So for a straight stitch, this is gonna be your centering. For the zigzag, it's going to adjust the width of the actual stitch. And then over here, um, you've got the length of your stitch, which also moves the foot, um, which is important. Um, I got myself into trouble where I had it set too short and it was almost like cutting some of the fabric. So you wanna make sure your stitch is long enough and that it's gonna help move the fabric through there as well. Um, so a um, couple other things on here. We've got our reverse button. We've got um, spool holder and we've got our bobbin threader up here. So um, first we'll start with the thread. The thread goes up here, comes along. This machine's nice because it has like really thorough instructions right on the top. Um, I'm not familiar with a lot of other machines, but I'm guessing they operate in a fairly similar fashion. So we hook down through here, come down, up, and then you have to hook on this little um, piece of metal inside here. So you gotta have, make sure your needle's all the way up. And then as you pull down, there's this little hook here, and you slide that forward and there's a needle threader, a little hook that also pulls it through the eye of the needle, which makes it very easy to thread. So we've got that there. And then we need to load our bobbin. So the bobbin, um, you can thread it up here, but I've got this one preloaded. So uh, once again, this machine has really nice instructions here. So this little um, plastic cover pops out and the bobbin just drops in here and you pull it down and hook it on this little piece of metal and then up around and then it uh, cuts off all the excess right there. So. I've got just a scrap of denim here. We'll just kind of demonstrate this. So when you drop this down, we're going to start with just a straight stitch. You've got your foot pedal down below, and you're going to start with it all the way, well, not all the way, but start it on to your foot. And then when the needle goes down, it'll pick up the thread underneath. So. So then you've got your foot raising lever back here that brings your foot up and you can trim your thread. You always want to leave probably three or four inches back behind there to start your next stitch. But then you can see this, you can see the nicer stitch on the bottom. This is looking very long on the top, so that might be a little bit too long, but um, it's all in there and it works. So uh, to do a zigzag, you just select the zigzag stitch over here, and then same thing. There you can see I've got the zigzag stitch and uh, I just ran that backwards because that helps lock it in so it doesn't necessarily look super pretty but it helps um, make sure that stitch isn't going to come out. So uh, as you get into doing more seam allowances you've got your um, markings set along here and then that can help you gauge how far you're going and help you stitch in a straight line. So. Um, 
I like to run kind of even with the foot at first. Um, you can just guide through there. Oh, see how this, my uh, tension is a little loose. Oh, I've come out of the eye, that's the problem. So, we have to re-thread the needle. All right, let's try that again. There we go. Got another zigzag stitch with a little lock stitching at the end there. And that is it. That's the real basics. So, um, most important part is going to be making sure that your needle stays threaded and that your bobbin has plenty of thread in it. So, once either one comes out, you're not going to have any stitch. So, you got to keep an eye on the machine and make sure that. Um, what's coming out of the back end is what you want. So, that's a real basic intro on this type of machine, and we're going to try and uh, work on a couple little projects. Alright.